We haven't really met yet. I'm the guy who generally stays off camera. That's not to say I don't play a role in the production of the videos on this channel. I help from time to time whenever Shannon needs a hand or some expertise behind the lens. I tend to be one of the first people she turns to whenever she has a question. It's almost like she thinks I'm smart or something. You'd think that after five years together, she'd know better by now. There's not really a lot to say about me. I'm your average 29 year old tech nerd, which is to say I feel like your average nobody. Somebody who would rather go unnoticed, effectively be as memorable to strangers as the shadows on the wall, until someone needs tech support. Then I'm usually the first person a lot of people in my life turn to, except for one of my best friends, but that's because he happens to be a programmer and used to own his own computer repair shop. He's where I turn whenever there's a problem that's above my skill set, and as much as I hate to admit it, this does happen. Speaking of friends, I have a small group of really tight-knit friends. We usually play games together online, mostly modded Minecraft. Modding is when we tweak the game to make it play a little differently, usually adding a challenge to overcome, or a system building complex machines and contraptions that take advantage of the game's built-in mechanics and make the results a bit easier to see and understand. Since we're on the topic of my hobbies and interests, I've got way too many to get too detailed with right now, but I'll name a couple. I recently got on two wheels. I watch way too much YouTube. And as I said earlier, video games are massive time investments. I like the idea of being a coder, but I have a really hard time sitting down and actually learning. Because when I do have time to spend learning with my friend teaching me, I'd rather just chill out and play games instead. I fight myself a lot because on one hand, I want to relax and do nothing. On the other hand, I have responsibilities. I'm working on improving myself continuously, as I think everyone should. We are all prone to making mistakes. That's just life. But what separates the kids from the adults is always doing your best to learn from what happens, both the good and the bad. But remember, like Picard said in The Next Generation, it, it is possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. That doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means you've learned an experience, and life is full of experiences. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Bye.